Hello, welcome back dear friends, it's me Udo. Um, we are back in Wrath of the Righteous. Um, uh, in Canabras in the marketplace. Last time um, we cleared this place, this, this space, and um, after a uh, night in the tavern, I came back and before starting this before starting this session uh, I was wandering in this direction where we didn't um, we didn't explore already and as we now just found something new because I found here Ramian. This is the guy which we saved before from the stupid Inquisitor Hull room. Um, I started to open again. Let's talk to him. Hello, Mr. Ramian. Golden curled Azimar greets you with a graceful bow. So you found me. I have nowhere else to run. I am at your mercy. Kill me if you wish. But I ask you, hear me out first. Hold on this day. <laughs> we could attack him now. <laughs> it's over for you, traitor. <laughs> oh god. Uh, we could kill everyone. I think this is true neutral. If we kill everyone, the good, the bad, the ugly, and also Beautiful, and this one is truly beautiful because he's an Azimar. They glow in the night. Did we do this? Uh, did you really know about the demon attack before it happened? Yeah, let's uh, let's do it like that. I did. We have a secret ally in the enemy's ranks. No one knows who this brave soul is, but she has been feeding us information about the demon's plans. These dispatches have come to us by the most reliable channel bestowed upon us by the great dreamer herself. That's uh, their goddess, Edna. They have come to us in dreams. Relate Hulrun brushed them off as meaningless reveries. And, well, I admit that it isn't always easy to distinguish our allies' messages from ordinary dreams. But even ordinary dreams are gifts from Vesna and are always worthy of attention. So they are like fruit. Freud, Freud, Freud. The prelate and all the crusade leaders for them, that matter should have put less store in reason and more in intuition, inspiration and spontaneity. Yeah, probably. Also less stupidly attacking things. What's more, not long before the attack on the city, a blind elf who calls himself the storyteller arrived in Canabras. Yeah, we know about them, him. This wanderer wasn't merely a collector of legends, but a scholar of the unknown. According to him, the wardstone in our city the first and most important in the chain of wardstones, weakened since long ago, was teetering on the brink of corruption. It seems that the Red Morning Massacre and other demon attacks, even the ones we fended off, did not leave us unscathed. Unfortunately, the prelate did not wish to listen to the storyteller either. We are lucky he wasn't burned at the stake as a heretic. <laughs> <laughs> um, interesting. We had such vital information on our hands, information that could have saved the city, but no one cared to listen all the way to the catastrophic end. Not all dreams have been origins. What if those dreams were sent by demons? Good question. In a different time and place, someone perhaps could have become the victim of false dreams sent by monsters. But here, in the war with the abbess, the goddess is keeping a close eye on her most faithful followers. I have no doubt that if a 
came and tried to intrude upon us upon the dreams of any one of us, Desna's punishment would have been swift. I'll read him as if I would read um, um, what was his name? The priest in Kingmaker. Not Jod, this was the other priest. Not Harim, this was the Dwarven priest. But Tristan, Tristan, yes. He, he's a Tristan kind of guy. Then you. Believing in divine providence is terribly unscientific. You should follow my example. I prefer scientific experiment over blind faith in benevolent discipline. Or better yet, several experiments. Yes, we know, Nendu, we know. Friend, your experiments, how to put this, they don't look very scientific. <laughs> how do you find out if fire is hot? Stick your hand in, of course. Now, that's science. Next time you're getting ready to do one of the experiments, let me know. I'll round up some punters. We'll make a killing. I'll split the proceeds with you, fair and square. Or I'll use your cut to pay for your healer, whatever you need. Then your eyes narrow while her nostrils flare. It turns away. <laughs> Tell me about the strange rituals that were going to be performed on the wardstone. Rimian looks slightly abashed. When my attempts to open Holren's eyes ended in failure, a few of my young adepts resolved to take matters into their own hands. They did not consult me before doing so. But I have never demanded iron discipline from my priests. Yeah, well, <laughs> no inquisitors, probably. Army commanders may have subordinates, but I have pupils and fellow worshippers. I can only inspire them, I cannot command them, and it seems they were inspired all on their own. Well, in other words, you get to preach whatever you want, and you don't have to take any responsibility for your flock. You've really gotten made. <laughs> for pity's sake, how can I be held responsible for the actions of others? These are not children. We are discussing here. They are grown adults endowed with their own free will. Praise the goddess. Goddess. Of course, we all help one another. But in the final reckoning, each of us decides how we will act. And each must answer for those choices. Mm -hmm. Well said. They had no ill intent. They only wished to access the wardstone in secret and try to cleanse it. But to Halron, this became perform a, sus a suspect ritual after hearing even more suspect voices in their dreams. The children wanted to save their city, but the Inquisitors detained them and almost killed them. I had to intervene. I used my authority and my power as a cleric to give them a chance to flee. If they hadn't got away, they were dis destined for a cell in the prelate's dungeon and, quite likely, death. Why haven't you left this place for somewhere safer? Yeah, let's, let's ask the feuding question. Oh, I'm not feuding with him. I sincerely wish only the best for the man. In an ideal world, he'd be far away from the front lines, enjoying a peaceful retirement. But even if that isn't possible, well, he, he was retired. <laughs> I have always tried to help him fulfill the mission he has taken upon himself, and to which he has proved fatally ill-suited. <laughs> protecting Kinabris against the demons. Unfortunately, he is convinced that the followers of Desna are heretics and saboteurs. Well, probably you are not lawful good. <laughs> he refused to listen to me, and it was only the knightly orders that deterred him from including us in his witch hunt. Now, there is clearly no one left to stand in his way, 
he's finally free to get rid of us once and for all. Well, not really. Why haven't you left this place for somewhere safer? Because people might need help, and they will come to the temple in search of a priest. I will not hide away in a hole, saving my own neck while Canabras is full of people suffering in the wake of the demon's attack. Uh, in <laughs> in the demon's attack. Okay, let's tell him the tool room is dead. The mob brings his hands together in a brief prayer. I'm sorry for this. Really? I'm truly sorry. Huldrun did not understand what he was doing, and he did so much harm, but he sincerely believed that he was fighting for the good of the city and the entire crusade movement. Um, you probably don't know this, because you are ignorant, <laughs> but there is uh, a book and a music, a book, book by Victor Hugo, which is called Le Miserable, and uh, there is also this this musical that I really love, and there is one character in the book uh, who is the ins who is ins who is an inspector, was called Javert, and probably Hulrun is more or less like this Chavere guy, thinking that he's um, adamant and strict, and he's doing the law, but doing everything wrong by doing so. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. What other hidings do you bring? I don't want to believe that Canabras has fallen, that everyone is dead, and there is no one left to fight. Please tell me, are there pockets of resistance still left in the city, where I can be of some use? Okay, Irabeth Terabade of the Eagle Watch is gathering survivors in the Defender's Heart Tavern. You would be very useful there. Yeah, of course. Commander Tirabade, I do not know her personally, but her wife, Anivia, is a regular worshipper in our temple. I would be glad to aid them in his fight. Of course. I have to go. And, and that's that? Yeah? <laughs> this was very anticlimactic. <laughs> Wait, three of my adepts are hiding somewhere in the ruins of the city. The ones the Inquisitors wrongly accused of treason. I beg you, find them and protect them against the demons and vigilantes like Hulrun. They will not rest until they find them. Okay, where do I find them? In the city or in the marketplace? Thank you for listening to me and defending me. I will go now to the defender's heart, I hope. See you there. May Desna keep you. What? Warm? Okay, clerics of Desna have joined the crusade. That's good. We now have some. Stranger, wait. You spared Ramian. Despite what that mad inquisitor told you, the young voice comes from nowhere. Oh, hang on. I forgot to remove the spell. I hope Hulrun's dogs aren't lurking nearby. Is this one of the one that ones that I have to find? A pill youth materializes before you. His face looks haggard from lack of sleep. But he is clearly pleased to be speaking to someone. So you're one of the Desna adepts Desna adepts that try to break into the woods though. Yes, I'm Ilks. Ilks? Ilkes, cleric of Desna, and one of the people who answered the call of the voice in dreams. Some unknown person made contact with us through our dreams, telling us about the demon's plans. We learned that the demons were planning to attack Canabras and do something terrible to our wardstone, which already carries the taint of corruption. Too late, Alvin, refused to heed our warnings. We had to make a choice. We could either throw up our hands and pull back, or take action, even though it could cost us our lives. But what heartless person 
could stand by in the face of such a deadly threat. Okay, there is a lawful and a chaotic thing. We are we are now totally neutral because we we did uh, last time. Um, out. So we could use one of these. How could a salad like Hulrun become the respected defender of Canabras? Or so what? You went up against Hulrun, but he is the official governor of the city. Interesting. Okay, I won't say each. I won't say one of these. What are you planning to do to the Wardstone? Our plan was to get to it and then follow our instinct. There were three of us, a cleric, a mage, and a bard. Well, he's probably the cleric. Between us, we know a lot. We're capable of a great deal. If we'd had enough time, I'm sure we could have figured out what's wrong with the wardstone and how to heal it. But they didn't give us time. I know how you feel, boy. Devising an experiment and then being unable to conduct it is the greatest of tragedies. I can also tell you that writing daily petitions to the Inquisition of Iomide, requesting even a small piece of the wardstone for study, has no chance of succeeding. <laughs> He's so, so stupid. <laughs> yes. The commanders got roped into dealing with this. Some idiot kids trying to break into the wardstone, apparently some of ours, but who even knows these days? See the size. I know there's no evil in you. I can sense things like that. But what you did was so stupid and impulsive, someone could have got hurt. I know from experience. So you lot decided that you needed to do something right away, so you did something right away. Great work. Interesting. So he doesn't like it, although they did something chaotic. Ah, he's lawful. Yes. Like the city authorities would have done a better job, they weren't gonna do a thing even though it sounds like they knew about the danger. Hmm. He's chaotic. So he's in favor of that. All they knew was that some crazies had come some weird dreams. But anyway, it's a little late to be trying to pin blame on people. Okay, how did you even come up with such a plan? Good question. How could we not come up with that plan? You sense the young man's temper rising. Listen, Desna is the goddess of luck. Luck, as many lay people would understand it, but luck, as many lay people would understand it, and luck, as we, the followers of the music of the spheres, see it, are far from the same thing. Other people believe that luck is something good that falls into your lap just because, like a generous but unearned reward. We see luck as a fundamental law of creation according to which even in the darkest hour of the most hopeless situation, a chance of rescue and change for the better can arise, which is called safe and load game. <laughs> but you've got to seize this chance when it presents itself, or better yet, create your own. Followers of Desna are not people who like idleness and inaction. That's why, when Canabris was in trouble, we did as our goddess had taught us. We took the matter into our own hands and tried in a moment of desperation to pluck our chance from the hands of fate itself. Okay. Oh, I'm sick of all this truth and fighting. Can we just go? It's not just Fighting. It's a matter of life and death. It's about the path we are all on. Yeah, that's so short. Whose voice have you been hearing in your dreams? Where are you, fellow worshippers, and how many of them are there? Do you need help? 
Yeah, let's let's ask for the voice first. Nobody knows uh, what it is, but everyone who has heard it heard her. I should say is convinced that she is a good and pure soul chosen by Desna. It's most probably the demon lady that we saw before. We had a choice. We could trust her, except that we have an ally somewhere who isn't afraid of all the armies of the Abyss. Or we could try the species and get one step to becoming just like Hulrun. We decided to trust the voice and seeing Canabras devastated, which is what our unknown ally tried to prevent until the very end, I can see now who had the truth on their side. Okay, probably it was really the demon lady and she wanted them to perform a ritual to further weaken the wardstone. Could this be? Probably. Where are your fellow worshippers and how many are there? Fortunately or unfortunately, I don't know where they are. We split up to confuse the Inquisitors who were chasing us. Yeah, this is well done. It would have been so much easier if you just told us where they are. Do you need help? Desna teaches us to trust in last ditch chances. Listen, my friends are called Aranka and Paul. Tal the Wallflower. Aranka is an amazing singer and a truly beautiful girl. She has plenty of friends and fans. She's probably blended into a crowd somewhere. Okay. There are not many crowds around here now, only dead on the floor. Wallflower is a mage, but I don't think he'll risk using magic. It will only bring the Inquisitors down on him. He'll be harder to find. You'd better find a ranker first. You might know where Wallflower is. Please find them and protect them against the demons and the Inquisitors. I will await news in the goddess temple. I hope our mysterious helper will send us a new message that will reveal what is to come from the demons. Hmm. Okay, I have to go. Go. May Desna be with you, stranger. Okay. Interesting. Hear me. Take heed. The hordes of the abyss march on Canabras. The wardstone is their target. They must not be allowed to capture it. The consequences will be disastrous. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we found the temple of Desna. We found some loot. Let's move into the temple then. There is Ilks. Ooh, ooh. It's a book, Fanfare of the Faithful. It's a box. An altar of Desna, goddess of luck, patron deity of travelers and dreamers. Okay. This was... Not very interesting here. We didn't find a lot, but we did find it. Anyway, let's get out of here again. Ooh. 
Interesting. Media. Um, you have the evil eye. You should give the evil eye right here. What's that? Ah, oh, that's the rap rapier. Um. <laughs> Shaman surrounds herself with the spirit of battle allies within 30 feet of the Shaman. Receive a plus one moral bonus on attack rolls. Oh, interesting. And that's the spirit weapon enchantment. This is for one minute. Okay. Let's just look at the map. We are here. There is nothing left down there. Oh, got some loot. Oh, booze. Take it. There's something behind the church? Nah. We don't get behind the church. Stop! What's that? New fight fight. They are... Hello? Level 2 fighters, really? Now we find something... Uh, come on... Really? You really do. <laughs> 16 points of damage. Really? And dead. Okay, this is saving throws, this is um, AC, and this is attack rolls, as we are doing it on the Evoker, it's probably best to I hope so. Okay, the cat is drinking my water again. Hey, our wizard is doing nice damage. I should have taken the evoker. Okay. 
You're moving there. Richard. It's a sneak attack. I cut you wide open. This doesn't look... This doesn't sound nice. Okay, let's kill him first. And then... Okay, let's collect everything. I see. Hmm. There is some loot. Oh, where does this come from? It's a bubble. It made a sneak attack. Sneaky. Hey, didn't I tell you not to show me this? Thank you. I know about sneak attacks. They are bad if played by others. Mm -hmm. Okay, we probably should also do a little hands on ourselves. Filmicus, kill. Well, probably not. Okay, let's do this first. You do the even eye. Oh, I've got this even eye here again. Like on the AC. I think AC is always the best option. As you can hit it easier. Then you let's do snowball. Ah, oh, probably no. Wait. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, of course you have a cold resistance. And a fire resistance. And a spell resistance. And an acid. <laughs> I mean, why should it be others? Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Seven outsider. Come on. How can it have three attacks in level seven? Oh. 
Okay. Mm. And let's just... No, not smite evil. I should have done smite evil. Ha. You hit him and got hit by, by him because he has protected his lion. Nice. Yay, that's a sneak attack. Okay, we've got him. Let's kill it. That's it. Ooh, what's that? A short spear. It could have been a, a magic knife or a dagger or something that we could give it to Wolf. I mean, why should it be like that? Okay. Easy. Oh, that's... So there is no way around here. Nope. We're on the far side of the city. Okay, um, we probably will stop here for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Until then, bye.